Hello children, I hope you all are happy and safe today. Welcome to our special English hour. Here, every day we will learn something new in a fun and exciting way. We will begin our day with another tongue twister. Are you all excited? Our new tongue twister is, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Let me repeat it for you once again. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Now I want all of you to repeat this tongue twister with me. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Sounds easy, right? Let's increase the speed a little bit. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I hope you all are saying this tongue twister with me. Now, let's increase the speed a little bit more. Are you all ready? We have to say this tongue twister five times with the same speed. Let's go. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Oops. I could only do it two times. But I am sure that with practice, all of us will be able to say this tongue twister five times with the same speed. I hope you all had fun saying that tongue twister with me. Now, we all know that words are very, very important for a language. So, we will learn some new words. I want all of you to listen to me very, very carefully. Our first word is witches. 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 Our second word is meadows. 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 Our third word is Station. 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 Our fourth word is painted. 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 Our fifth and the last word is tram. 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 Now, I will repeat these words for you once again. But this time, I want all of you to write these words in your notebook. And while writing it, Say these words out loud with me. Are you all ready? Our first word is witches. Our second word is meadows. Our 
our third word is station our fourth word is painted our fifth word is tram I hope you were all able to write down the words and say them out loud with me. Now it's time that I ask you all some questions. I want all of you to listen to these questions carefully and try to answer them. Are you ready? My first question is Do you know how many modes of transport do we have? Hmm. We have three modes of transport: land, water, and air. Now let's move to my next question. When we want to travel within the city or village from one place to the other, what mode of transport do we use? Yes, we use. land transport but even under land transport we use vehicles like auto rickshaws cars scooters cycles etc now all of these vehicles run on the road so this is called road transport hmm now let's move on to my next question if we want to travel from one country to another which mode of transport will we use we can use air transport or auto transport yes under air transport we have aeroplanes helicopters etc hmm can you all tell me what can we use under Motor transport. Yes, we can use different types of boats and ships. All the vehicles that run on sea, ocean, and rivers are called water transport. Now that we know all the three modes of transport, can you tell me which is your favorite mode of transport, and why? Let me tell you mine. My favorite mode of transport is land transport. But even under land transport, my favorite vehicle is a train. Every year I go to visit my native place in a train. That is the best time of the year. I always wait for that time. As soon as I enter the train, I run towards the window seat. After all, that is the best seat in the entire compartment, right? My favorite transport is train because can you guess? Yes. Because of the different sceneries that I get to see when I sit in the window seat. different trees passing by different mountains tunnels but most of all when we halt at a station i love seeing all the people running with their luggages today we will read a poem which will show us different sceneries that we can see through our train please open page number 22 of your english all bharati textbook If you have a textbook, point your finger on the words as I read them. If you don't have a textbook, please don't worry. Listen to me carefully. And we learned five new words today. Do you remember them? Which is meadows. What else was there? St
stations painted and tramp i want all of you to look for these words while we read the poem the name of our poem is from a railway carriage faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle children can you see any of the five new words that we had learned earlier today in this stanza yes witches and meadows in the poem the poet r s stevenson shares his experience of a train journey with us in the very first stanza he says how the train has an amazing speed he says that a train is faster than fairies and witches children do you know what a fairy and a witch is yes in the olden stories fairies are described as tiny creatures that have wings these are magical creatures they have magical powers and are very loving and helping they use their magical powers to help everyone now which is which is our opposite of fairies have you ever seen a scary looking lady who wears a conical hat wears black dress and travels around in a broom i'm sure you must have seen them in cartoons yes these are called witches now witches also have magical powers but these powers are bad and evil these powers are called black magic they use this magic to hurt people the poet says that the train is faster than fairies and witches he goes on to say that when a train is moving forward with speed it looks like a battlefield where the soldiers are ready to fight in a war he goes ahead to say that there are so many things that pass by when a train is moving ahead trees ditches houses he also passes meadows meadows are long grasslands where he says that cattle and horses are grazing now let us find out what the poet has to say in the next stanza all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by children can you see any of the other words that we learned earlier today in this stanza yes painted and stations in the previous stanza we saw how the poet compared the speed of the train to fairies and witches here he says that a train passes by hills and plains with so much speed that it looks like a storm yes 
he says that the speed of the train is similar to the raindrops that fall one after the other in a storm. Can you imagine? We all know the speed of raindrops when in a storm, right? He says that that is the speed of the train. He goes on to say that the stations also pass by in a whistle. Stations are a place where the train halts for the passengers to get off and get in. He says that even the stations pass by by the time you finish a whistle. He goes on to say that from where he is sitting in the compartment, it looks like the stations are painted pictures. Now, let us find out what he says in the next stanza. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tram who stands and gazes. And there is the green for Stringing the daisies. Children, we found four of the five words. Can you see the last word in this stanza? Yes! Tram. Very well done. In this stanza, the poet is explaining in detail what are the things that he sees while he's sitting in the train? First, he says that he can see a child scramble and crumble. Now, crumble and scramble is a word that we use when we want to say that someone is trying to climb with difficulty. So, he says that a child is trying to climb with difficulty. He also says that while trying to climb, the child is also collecting blackberries. Then he goes on to say that he can also see a tram looking at the train in amazement. A tram is a homeless person who is always travelling in search of work. He says that this tram is looking at the train in amazement and wonder. Then he goes on to say that he can also see some women sitting around in a green grassland and they are making garlands of daisy flower. Now, let us look at what the poet has to say in the last stanza. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river. Each a glimpse and gone forever. This poem is written by R. L. Stevenson. Here the poet is telling us that while sitting in his compartment, he can also see a cart on the highway of a road. He also says that on top of the cart, there is a man sitting. So it looks like the cart is carrying the load of not just the luggage, but also the man. Then he tells us that he can also see a mill and a river. A mill means a factory. So he can see a factory and a river. He tells us that he can see so many different things. But all of these things pass by with so much speed that he only gets a glimpse. Glimpse means a short glance of all these things and they pass by as if he will never see them again. Such a wonderful poem, right? Let me tell you one thing. Now that I have learned this poem, the next time I travel in a train, I am pretty sure that I will look at all the sceneries 
just like R. L. Stevenson has in this poem. I hope you all love the poem as much as I did. Do you know that when the first trains were built in the 18th century, the people were so afraid that the vibrations of the train would make them ill. From using animals and coal to electricity today, our train transport has come a long way. Now let us do a small activity. On your screen, you will see different pictures. These pictures are of different types of trains. You have to look at these pictures carefully, identify the type of train and then arrange them in the correct ascending order. Ascending order means that you have to arrange them by which train came before which train. Are you all ready? Let's go. For example, can you all guess the name of the train in the first picture? Yes, this is a metro train. Just like this, I want all of you to guess the rest of the pictures. Now, let us look at the answers. The second picture is... Yes, a bullet train. The third picture is... I think we all know what this is. Yes, this is a diesel train. Can you all guess the fourth picture? Yes. The train in the fourth picture is tram. I think we all know the last picture, don't we? The train in the last picture is a steam train. Can you all guess which of these trains was the first to be made? Hmm, correct. The first train was steam train. Now can you guess the second train? The second train in the order is diesel train. Now it's time for the third train. Yes, you guessed it right. The third in the order is trams. The fourth is a metro train. And the last one, which is the latest one, is a bullet train. I will see you all in the next session. Until then, stay home, stay safe and bye-bye.